everybody, what's going on? Today I am back doing a current favorites video. Super laid back and chill. I'm in my bedroom. The background isn't that great. Actually, most of the exciting things in my room are over here and over here, but I have a window right here. It's just, you know, the lighting is gonna be a little crazy today, but we're just gonna get right to it. I have a ton of favorites. I'm so excited to film this. In my last video, um, I told you guys I would be coming at you with a favorites video, so here I am today. I'm gonna start off with this highlighter because I mentioned this in a previous video, this highlighter has changed my life. Like this has gotten so much hype for all good reasons. It is the most beautiful highlighter I've ever seen. This is the Amrezi Anastasia highlighter. It's such a cool formula. Like there's no kick up or anything. There's no like powder or anything. It's a very like creamy jelly formula. I love it. It's what I have on my nose, my eyes in the inner corner. It's just a really pretty highlight. I can wear it to work very lightly and it gives me like a very natural like glow within type of look. Or if I wanna, I, or if I wanna go crazy like right now, I, I did put a lot for me. Um, I can do that as well. It's like, it's just a really good versatile highlighter. I feel like it can work with a lot of skin tones. Um, it could work for a lot of occasions. So it's definitely worth the investment. I don't know if this is limited edition, but if it is, I have to pick up another one because I'm scared I'll run out of this. I literally use it every single day. I really don't like to purchase a lot of high-end makeup, but if there's one thing that I highly recommend and that you guys should just splurge on, this bad boy right here, it's so, so beautiful. Um, so, now that I've talked so much about that highlighter, let's move on to this bronzer. This is by number seven. I have been, this is my second one. I, uh, number seven actually sent me this bronzer. This one specifically is in Golden Sand. Great if you have fair skin. They sent me a package before this was in it, and I loved this so much that I picked up another one. I mean, I completely finished the first one they sent me. This is my new one, and it's really, really beautiful if you have fair skin. If you have darker skin, this probably won't show up on you, but this blends out so well. It's not too orangey. It's not powdery at all, and if you, you know, we all like to go a little crazy with our bronzer sometimes. That's totally understandable. Um, I went a little crazy with it one time on my neck when I was bringing the bronzer down. What do I have here on my neck? Anyway, I was bringing the bronzer down my neck um, and I went a little too crazy and there was like a patch here, but I quickly blended it out and it was gone. Like this is super blendable. You're not gonna look crazy. Um, it's a very like, you can't mess up with this bronzer. So especially if you're a beginner, I would definitely check this out. They do have other shades. Like if you um, are a little bit darker, they have a darker bronzer. Next product, I have the Balm's Hot Mama Blush. This is such like an old school makeup product. I used to use this all the time back in the day and then it kind of fell to the back of my drawer. And then one day I have I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start like cycling out my blushes. I have so many blushes and I just wanted to get my money's worth. So I found this one and there it goes like, you know, that's thrown out of the window. I don't even cycle my blushes anymore. I literally use this one and then another one. Um, but this is my current favorite right now and it's just a really pretty like pinky peachy color. It has a nice shine to it so if you don't even want to use highlighter you don't have to because this blush has like a little bit of a sheen to it it looks really pretty it goes with any makeup look it's so versatile I feel like the balm is kind of underrated I feel like they have really really good products you can find them at like Walgreens they're still a little pricey I wouldn't say they're like completely completely high-end but it is a little pricey but totally worth it um, I would definitely go pick it up they have a lot of blushes but this is by far my favorite by them it's like so pretty um mascara i do not wear false lashes i don't want to get into that whole false lash craze i feel like once you start wearing false lashes you're not gonna stop i did used to wear them for makeup tutorials which i still will maybe but as far as every day goes no instead i use the uh l'oreal's voluminous voluminous lash paradise i was obsessed with another did i say maybelline or l'oreal it's L'Oreal's Voluminous Lash Paradise. I was obsessed with a Maybelline mascara. It was like the total sensational or something like that, which I really do like, but I decided to switch it up and I forgot how much I loved this mascara. It literally brushes through each and every one of my lashes. I like, I feel like I don't even need to wear false lashes because my lashes look so good, voluminous. It also gives me length, which I prefer over volume. Either way, it's a really good mascara. It doesn't like, add, um, like, 
I don't have any like black little flakes on my face. It's a really good all around mascara. It's at the drugstore. It's not expensive. And I know people compare, to, compare this to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. To be honest, I don't like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara at all. Like I feel like they're, they're not the same at all. Like I wouldn't say they were dupes, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. I really do like this mascara though. It's awesome. I use it every single day. Have it on today. Another high-end product that is so good, totally worth the money, the YSL All Hours Concealer. I mentioned this in my chatty get ready with me video that, um, you know, this is like my favorite concealer right now. It's honestly one of the best concealers I've ever tried. It does not dry out my eyes. I have very dry skin, so concealers do tend to dry the crap out of my under eyes. This concealer doesn't do that like my under eyes look flawless get, don't get me wrong this isn't like completely full coverage but if you want a good medium coverage and not dry under eyes this guy right here is gonna be like your savior um, it is $34 which is a little pricey especially for concealer and I'm almost running out like I need to purchase one ASAP um, but it's honestly like completely worth it like I don't mind paying $34 for this concealer at all and I don't know how much the highlighter was there on Resi Highlighter, but I don't mind paying that much either because they're honestly good products. I don't mind paying a good amount for a good product. I really don't. So if you are in, um, if you are looking for a new concealer, try this one out. I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's not full coverage. It's not like Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> That's like a tongue twister, but it's not like Tarte Shape Tape, but it is good and it's not dry, which is like a huge thing for me. Like I can't have dry cover crusty under eyes can't talk can't talk today okay I'm gonna move on to two brushes that have just also changed my life like I feel like my makeup game is just so good right now I can't even handle it they're both my eco tools one is the full setting brush which I use to bronze up my face um, I love it because I I use like a fatter brush by Morphe to bronze up my face and I felt like I was dragging it a little too low and um, I would have to bake. I bake anyway now, but I was dragging it a little bit too low. I decided to try this one out. Eco Tools did send this to me and it just fits perfectly right here. So I just bronze up and it, it's fluffy so it blends out the bronzer really, really well and it's not super dense so it's not gonna like bam, like put a ton of blush all in one spot. Like it's fluffy, you can blend it out, it doesn't like move your makeup around or anything like that and it fits perfectly right here in my cheek. So I really like it, highly recommend it. I think you can buy this individually, I'll leave a link below, but it's just so freaking nice, especially if you have like a smaller face. Like I bronze up on my temples with it. It just, it's honestly perfect. It's not the best, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my voice. It's not the best if you drag your bronzer down. I use like a bigger brush to drag it down. Um, it's not the best for that because it is a little bit small, um, but it does do a really good job at bronzing up the face. It doesn't get your bronzer everywhere. And then the um, Eco Tools Controlled Setting Brush. You know, this would be a good setting brush for underneath the eyes, but I use it to highlight. Like I. I feel, I don't have that Anastasia highlighter brush, but I've seen so many people use it and I feel like this is a good um, uh, comparison. I use it today to highlight, I use it every single day to highlight. I will whoop, go right like that, I'll put it a little bit on my forehead and go like this right on my nose and bam, like I'm good to go and I do the Cupid's bow too. But it's just a really, really nice brush and if you really wanted to, you can definitely use it to set your under eyes. It, I feel like it would be a good brush for that. But I, I use it to highlight and it works so well for me. These are like my two, oh my God, favorite, favorite brushes. They are definitely my essential brushes right now. Um, that's pretty much it makeup related. I'm gonna get into some skincare stuff. I also mentioned this in that chat to get ready with me. This is the Neutrogena Hydra boost water gel um moisturizer <laughs> um i have very dry skin but like creams 
tend to break me out. Um, so I have been using gel moisturizers for like years now. I used to use the Origins uh, Ginseng Moisturizer, the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, but I honestly just, I didn't want to spend that much money anymore. This one is I think like $16, $17, which is a lot cheaper than the other two that I mentioned. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is the smell. Um, but somebody told me to try the super dry one. There's like a different version, so I'll try that next. But either way, it hydrates my skin so well. It gives me like a light, like a nice cooling sensation. It keeps me from being like super duper dry. It's honestly a great, great moisturizer. So if you're into gel moisturizers, um, definitely try this out. I know people um, say that dry skin, usually you should use like a, like a heavier cream, but for me that just breaks the crap out of my skin. Um, but especially if you have oily skin, you might like this gel moisturizer. It's really nice, light. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Maybe it can help these forehead wrinkles because they're getting out of hand. Now on to two really, really important skincare products for me. They're both oils. Um, if you have issues with hyperpigmentation or if you really want to lighten up your scarring, you're going to want to listen. Um, the first oil I have is rosehip oil. I got this specific one from Amazon. It was really cheap. It was like 12 bucks. And um, my skin for a while, like I would break out, they would go away, and then they would come right back. Like no no ifs, ands, or buts, they would always be back. Um, then it got to a point where I wasn't breaking out anymore. I just had a lot of scarring on my face. Um, so I read, I did my research, and I read that rosehip oil is really good at fading scars. So I started to use this, and I saw, I saw results within a couple weeks. I was shocked. I was like, there's no way this is happening to me. Like, this is too good to be true. Um, it's honestly a miracle oil. I still use it to this day. I use it almost every single night. It does have a yellow orangey tint to it, so it will stain your sheets. But um, mine come out. Like, every time I wash my sheets, I don't have the stain anymore. But just in the meantime, it will stain your sheets. Um, it's an awesome oil. It's not too heavy. It's very light, which I really like, especially when you know I'm going to bed. I don't want like a heavy, sticky oil on my face, which then brings me into the second oil that I really like. It's 100, well, this was, this is castor oil. It's by um, Sky Organics, which this brand is awesome. I completely back them up 100%. Um, they have a great little shop going. They're, all of their products are 100% pure. 100% organic, natural, there are no additives, it's chemical free. It's honestly a really, really good brand. I'll leave their link down below. Um, but castor oil is very thick and um, it does feel uncomfortable on your face, I'm not gonna lie. You only need a little, little tiny bit. Um, this is supposed to be really good at fading scars, but I felt like this worked really well to help moisturize my skin. Like, I don't know, I just, I felt like, I, I'll mix these two at night and I feel like like this was better at fading scars and this is just really good at hydration um, on the back it says you can soothe sunburns effectively softens and hydrates skin fade scars and stretch marks prevents hair loss I do use this I mix this and coconut oil and I put it in my hair as a hair mask at night and my hair like feels super soft the next day so these two oils are honestly lifesavers for me if you're into skincare which you should be um, definitely try castor oil and rosehip oil um, I don't know how much this costs but this one's very inexpensive on Amazon but like I said I highly recommend this brand so I really want you guys to check them out they're really really I don't know, it's just a very honest brand, so that's why I really like them. Um, I think that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.